Hey everybody, this is Doggy080 bringing you a tutorial on how to use Hypercam. Now, much like my other tutorials, I don't claim to be the expert. This is just the settings that I personally use and have figured out how to use myself. And I am using these settings in all of the videos that I do regarding computer games. Now, before we get started, there's a couple of things that I'd like to tell you. As I said before, I'm no expert in this field and there may or may not be a better way to record these settings. And this only records windowed video games, meaning that if you have a game that only plays in full screen mode, as far as I know, the settings won't work for you. These only work for window games, not full screen games and this does not record high definition videos this only records regular definition unless I figure out some other way I don't think this program does record high definition but it records good enough for me to use and I haven't got any complaints from anybody regarding the quality so if that's good enough for you then let's go ahead and get started Okay, so we're going to need two programs. We're going to need Hypercam and another one called FFD Show Tryouts. I'll tell you a little bit about FFD Show Tryouts in just a minute, but let us go to the Hypercam website and we want to download it by clicking right here. I'm on their page right now and you go there by clicking download Hypercam V2 for free. This program is free now. You don't have to pay for it. It's they bumped it down to a freeware program so you can you can share it, you can do whatever. It's it's free. You don't need an activation code or anything. So let's go ahead and save this. And good, good. It should download relatively quickly. It's not a very big file at all. Now the next one that we need is called FFD Show Tryouts. This program right here is actually a video codec file or something regarding codecs. It's, it's what I use for my videos to give me good quality with not a super massive file size. I have tried many different codecs but this one is the one that I found that works the best for me. You're more than welcome to test any other uh, codec that you wish, but this one, it just works for me, and I'll show you all the settings in just a minute. So to get this one, all you do is come over here to download, click on this tab, scroll over here, and get the FFD Show Beta 7. This one's a little bit bigger than Hypercam 2, so it'll take a little bit longer to download. Now this page should come up. Just ignore this. Your download should start now, or it should bring you up with a pop-up that asks you if you want to download it. So go ahead and click Save, or Download, or whichever. It'll take just a minute to download, and whenever those are done downloading, I already have them over here conveniently so we can move on. They should look like this. Whenever you go to where you downloaded them they will look just like this right here. The first thing we're going to do is install the Hypercam 2 setup. So just double click it. Click run. This program will install blah 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 blah. Say yes and click I accept the above agreement which we do we're not gonna you know try to sell it or anything so just don't worry about that go ahead and install it to its default directory that's what I suggest okay once we've installed it let's go ahead and open it up if it doesn't give you a shortcut you can always look for it on your start window right here So go ahead and open up Hypercam 2. And 
And the main thing we're going to focus on right here is the AVI file. Personally, I like to record at 20 frames per second. It looks nice, it doesn't look choppy, and it's pretty good quality. You can go higher if you want, but it's, it's a little bit more uh, resource heavy. So I would suggest trying to stick around the 20, maybe 18 if you have maybe a slower computer. So go ahead and stick that right there. Um, cursor full frame capture, you want to be 1. Key every 100 frames, I just left that as default and the video compressor this is where the FFD show is going to come into play so we're going to click on this look for the FFD show video codec then go to configure this compressor now I prefer to record mine at about 2000 kilobytes per second you can do a little bit more if you want higher quality but it all just depends on how much free space you have on your computer if you don't have a lot of free space you're more than welcome to do lower uh, kilobytes per second but just know that the lower you go the worse the quality is going to be and the higher you go the better the quality is going to be So I just leave it right here. This is the one that I found to work the best. And everything else, I haven't really touched anything else on here. So just go ahead and leave it like that. And then click OK. And now that's how you get everything set up. Uh, frame compressor quality. I have tried to play with this, but I have never seen anything different. I just left it at 50 because 50 worked I guess and now whenever you get started and you actually want to record something this little tip right here will help a lot so right here it says select region or select window I'm gonna go ahead and open up a game right now it's going to be Minecraft uh, run Give it a second. It's probably going to go really slow on my computer right now. I'm on my laptop. I'm going to go ahead and make the window smaller so you guys can see all of this. Um, just pretend that this is the Minecraft window right here. <laughs> okay, we're going to open up Hypercam. And we're going to select the little one that says Select Window. Now notice what I do right here. I'm going to select a window and do you see how it blinks up here we want to get the blinking to happen in here it's just the window only we don't want to include the outer frame right here we don't want to include the frame it just looks kinda of messy and I would strongly suggest against not using the window just the actual visual area you want to click on that and then whenever you're ready to start recording you can go ahead and log into your game I'm actually not going to log into Minecraft right now because it my computer goes very slow and I have two recording programs open right now and one thing I want to note uh, before I show you another program is that whenever you select the window see I selected this window right here if you move the window the selection will not move with the window your selection will still stay in this area so if you move your window you want to make sure that you reselect that window right there anytime you move it and if for whatever reason you aren't able to select whatever game that you're trying to record like say it's in a web browser or something then 
choose the Select Region button. This one will let you actually pick out how big you want to your recording area to be. So click, drag it, and then click again. But I would suggest trying the Select Window first because it's easier, it looks nicer, and you won't get any of the window frame in there. And just another program that you can use, uh, this is a popular emulator that people use. This is the uh, ZNES, I believe. And you can use this. Where is it? Right there. It's the same way. Select window. And then you see how it's blinking? You want to select that one. And there you go. And whenever you're recording, um, whenever you're ready to record, just um, click on the AVI. Like, make sure you know where it's saving. By default, it will save in my documents. But if you want, you can change that file by clicking Browse for File Name, and you can save it wherever you want. So that's really handy. Whenever you're ready to start capture just click start record and it will record what's going on screen so it's recording this little area right now so um and it will record what's going on screen so it's recording this little area right now. So, um, oh yeah, and the hotkey to record and stop recording is F2. That comes in handy. And, um, I guess that's about it with this tutorial. Uh, if this tutorial has helped you, please remember to thumbs up, comment, you know. If you weren't certain about something, um, let me know. And um, if I figure out any better settings, I will be updating this tutorial. But as of now, these are the best settings that I know how to use. So, I hope this helps with everybody. And if you have any more questions, let me know, and I'll try to get to those as quickly as I can. So yeah, take it easy, everybody. See you later.